Okay, hello and welcome back, Squirrel Nation. We are diving into today's video. Um, let's see. We'll start off with a Tusker. Um, nope. We will start off with a Divinity. Get out of here. Um, and I'm making that choice because if you notice, there is one, two, three, and I was four Tuskers, and I am the only one grabbing a God of War. So there we go. Starting off with a quick decision. Let's look at this lobby. Nice. We have King. Okay, cool. So the lobby's higher, so that's good. We can get some points, get our climb on. Um, I still haven't really started my like hardcore grind this season, but I will be uh, ramping up here in the next probably week or two as, as far as like how many games I'm getting in a day to start climbing. Um, I've just kind of been putting time towards um, other things like my collaboration with Shredder and just other types of content for all of you. So anyways, that is that note. Put that in. Um, for this video, I am going to focus on discussing branching. So I think we, we've talked a lot about tempo recently, uh, when to reroll, that type of stuff. So now I'm going to talk about branching because I think branching is the other um, key factor to, to the game. And what I consider branching is learning how to take what the game is giving you and combine it slowly into different uh, synergies. And that comes from knowing all the different synergies and then being able to put those synergies and one second in this case, knowing the different meta comps and then being able to kind of branch off them. That's why I call it branching. So for instance, right now I'm setting up for something towards warriors because I'm getting a lot of warriors, which is good. And I am kind of on the fence. I was on the fence about selling God of War to get the um, Red Axe Chief and yeah, I'm just sticking with it because this is the most damage. But anyways, um, so I'm setting up towards warriors. So now in my head, I have, I'm starting to see the different branches that this can go, okay? This can go towards six warriors. This can go towards three warriors with beast. This can go towards um, warlocks. This could go towards divinity mage, right? So there's all these different options that I have and that's what I consider branching. So the reason that that matters so much is when I'm looking, and let me get some stuff on here. Let's put it on there. Let's just make our divinity tanky. Um, when you're, when I look at each shop, right? Part of what I'm deciding is what branch am I going down, okay? And to understand a branch, you wanna understand the key carry heroes in a certain branch, right? So for instance, if I get a Thunder Spirit, if I get a Poisonous Worm, if I get a Soul Reaper, if I get a Berserker, right? Those trigger different branches. If I get a Thunder Spirit, then I'm starting to think more towards a Mage Divinity build and the Warriors start losing significance to me. If I get a Berserker, then I'm thinking something more towards six Warrior with Beast or like three Warriors Warlock, that type of a thing. Um, just the fact that I'm getting a two-star divinity as one of my first things also is already changing my branching in my head. Um, so let's see. And in this case, let's give the old move forward, side protection. Yep, we should be good with that. Um, so yeah, see, every time I open the shop now, so... A Garrus Ranger, if I'm going towards Divinity, is it really that useful? No. If I go towards Hunter Warrior, though, it is useful. So say I get that two star and then I get offered some other Hunters, then you know what? Then we're looking at a three Warrior, three Hunter type of comp. Um, the Unicorn is normally just for the Unicorn trick. The uh, Soul Breaker right now is just for really good early strong unit, and I already have a two star God of War, so Soul Breaker, the Sky Breaker are really, really good. Now, let's see. Can I go on... Can I win streak? Probably, especially since we just hit this. Um, so in that case, we level. Throw that in there. Grab another warrior. Grab another pair. Okay. And see, we just keep on going. Keep, keep going just like this. So now, say I do hit my Red Axe Chief. I could switch it out with God of War. Then I still have my three warriors, but then I'm starting to get synergies on um, and I can get the hunters. Skull Hunter here I could use, but eh, am I going to want to give up? I don't know, but I'll, I'll grab it for the option. It, it, it supports a better branch than the Unicorn and the uh, Soul Breaker. 
So here I can go towards three cave clan. Like let's say that I get a um, storm shaman next round, then I have four cave clan and I can go straight into that synergy, which at, you know, round seven, round eight would be really, really strong. So we're, we're updating our branch. We're, we're seeing what is the, what is the branch that's most likely to bring us a win? Um, okay. So whenever I see epics, that obviously puts thoughts into my head. But like we said, we have an Agaris. This will bring synergy, which will kill our divinity. But in this case, it's probably okay because we just are going to use the divinity as a meat shield and let our um, tanks wreck. So I think we'll go something like this. And we, I, I really want that Agaris and then get in the Dwarf Sniper. So these are just to eat damage. I don't really need the damage from the Divinity anymore going for something like this. And so Divinity is looking very unlikely. So I'm keeping God of War, the God of War on the board because he is a really, he's two star. He's really good tank, but I'm not keeping him on the board for damage anymore. And I'm also starting to branch away from him because if you look at my board, I'm getting a lot of synergies in. So that is another thing to keep in mind. So we're beating that person, we're beating that person. So our synergies are going really well for us. I think we can keep a win streak going. And yeah, and there we go. I mean, see, just look at that. So, and, and hopefully this is illustrating what I mean by the branches. So now, right now I take that out. Here we go, we got this, bam. And so now see, we went, now we have a three hunter, a Garrus synergy with cave clan, two stars, like our comp is looking really good and it's from that branching mindset. So now here's the thing, at any point would I put back in the God of War, right? That that becomes the question and probably not because I, I already have two nice tanks with the Cave Clan and I also hopefully can get a Swordsman or the um, Abyssal Guard. So I'm not gonna use him, I'm gonna sell him to get my items back. My items will go onto my main tank and actually the Magic Res I will probably put on my Agaris Ranger and that will be going towards three stars and actually i want to spend that gold sorry that was the other reason i wanted to sell them so that i level to six and my shop is a level six shop that is great um i could get that egg and then level up um so tusker would be nice actually because so actually i don't need him and i don't okay let me put out things real quick and i don't I do want Tusker three star. If I do go towards Hunter, I do want the three star. So let's do this. I am ensuring my win streak. That's why I'm going to use the egg there. This is all about tempo, right? I want to make sure that I'm keeping this win streak. And the fact that I have some sick early game synergies, like I have three of the strongest early game synergies with Agaris, the cave and the marksman. Like if I can get a storm shaman, I, this is going to be such an early game thing. Um, I can get on a really nice, nice win streak, and then hopefully I can just keep carrying that in. I can carry the win streak to help me level fast. I can get to level eight, get to level nine before everybody else, and just grab up all those juicy units. Bam, we get a werewolf. So if I'm going hunter, I want the Holy Trinity. And somebody on Reddit gave me this idea of calling it Holy Trinity, and I agree with it. I love it. Um, if you're watching this video, shout out to you. Sorry, I forgot your name. <laughs> but um, the Holy Trinity is werewolf with your pirate captain and your tusker just for earliness because you get beast you get three warrior out of it all that good stuff um but actually later in the game the more important is abyssal guard because that will pair with my siren to be giving me the um marine buff and that's going to three these are both important um tusker is less important he would honestly just be if i do get the and here becomes an interesting question do i want to focus on damage or do i want to focus on my tank and actually a lot of times i honestly prefer to go with my tank in this case um for the reflecting damage and everything because yeah i just that that's my preference i like having i feel like there's a correlation between your good tanks and winning games so Okay, so, so we got a pair there. Um, here, a Lone Druid is something I would want to mix in. So I'm grabbing that and like Lone Druid would give me my second beast instead of Tusker because I already am going to have my warriors generally. Um, so that's something. And honestly, I should probably do this because he, he is better and I'm not getting that next cave clan yet. So we'll go with something like that. Um, if we win, I think I'm going to sell the Tusker and if we actually now nah, I'll sell the Unicorn, we can keep Tusker. You never know. 
if I can get the Tusker with a Werewolf early for the Beast with my other synergies, that's really good. So we're doing that. We do win this. So let's sell the Unicorn. If we get a Lone Druid, we have time to build up our um, everything. Garrus, I'm going to load with my items because she has the fastest attack speed, especially if I can get her to three stars. So attack items onto her. None of that interests me. But now what interests me is getting to 20 gold. So I probably sell Tusker now if we're going to win. Or honestly, me. Let's let's see what other people are doing here. Um, okay, 20 gold. So our gold is actually good. If you notice, we are highest in the game. Oh no, sorry. There's one person at the bottom who was probably loose streaking um that has higher gold they're going for divinity uh mage so that is something i definitely am going to want to get my uh abyssal guard in and i'm going to want to get my marine buff to deal with that and also getting my pirate captain will be really important so that i can get the human silence with my werewolf and pirate captain and we're still crushing people so that's good we do win i'm gonna sell the tusker um this is a game where I pro I hopefully can stay on a plus three gold win streak for quite a while, so my chance of getting having enough time to reroll for a three star E Ranger is relatively high. So we're gonna go for that. Um, perfect, got that. Uh, I can grab him, but and here I'm tempted to level to speed up the game because that person who's lose streaking. Um, I don't want that person who is loose streaking to have tons of time to make my, I, I don't want to give the person who loose streaking, let me just show you his screen, him, right? I don't want him to have time to build up a super death, uh, divinity mage comp because he will beat me. It, it, if I go hunters, like if I go the comp I'm thinking of, this person will beat me super late game. So if I force levels with two stars, I'm going to start killing people really hard. And if I'm killing people really hard, what are they going to do? They're going to like, look at the, this is second place. They're going to lose 10 health to me probably. Like, let's see how much do they lose. Yeah, 11 health to me at round 13. Okay, so you have to think about what effects that going to have on the game. What, what's going to happen is people are going to start spending. You're not going to see 50 gold banks, right? Like already, if you look, people are low and they're going to be staying low the majority of the game because if they try to econ up, they're going to die. Um, so that is kind of the mindset that I bring into this. And I'm thinking of changing my formations. Are there uh, assassins? There's only one assassin and the assassins are one, two, two, two stars. So they're, they're not exactly the scariest assassins I've ever seen. I think I'll go something like this. Actually, let's put him up. Okay. Um, there we go. And yep, see, funnily, we get that one assassin. We catch him with our werewolf, so that's good. Um, should be good, 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 good. And remember, normally people are going to hit level 7. Normally people hit level 7. Uh at round 16 but people have already started to force level seven three other teams so four of us in total have gone to seven and that's because of exactly what i said it's like because i'm the leader because i'm first place because i'm on a huge win streak i'm forcing the tempo i'm the one making people play a certain speed and people who don't play that speed if they try to get greedy it's going to be big issue for them okay let's do that get our tanks in the corner like so and we can go like that and then put another tank back over here. Um, yeah. So this generally works because it will make the um, tanks come over this way and the wolves will hop on them. And let's see. Yep. So perfect. That is a, about all I could ask for in an engagement. A bunch of wolves get on my... Um, Death Evil Knight, sorry, and then, um, yeah, the rest on my other two tanks. So very good, Dracula Mask, awesome, that, oh, I thought I, I thought I had a rod. Okay, I guess I don't have a rod, but anyways, tank items, we get this stuff onto my E-Ranger, bam, good items, and then tankiness onto my, my main tank here. So, uh, Red Axe Chief is likely going to be switched out later in the game, but, ooh, very nice, very nice, okay. Let's get my formation back set up real quick. Do that, uh, that, that. And actually I wanted to, I wanna kinda keep some safety. I think let's go, actually no, this is something that can work. 
like that. Okay, and I can sell something. Swordsman. Swordsman's starting to look less and less likely here because we're getting later in the game and I'm going to start getting these like pirate captain types um, and doom. So I'll be mixing them in. And oh no, uh, we do lose. Who did we lose? Okay, and we lost to the person who was lose streaking. But if you see what I mean, they they spent a lot of health. They got all the way down to 30, uh, 26 to build up a bank and now they had to spend their bank. So even though they beat me, my economy is now ahead of theirs and I have way, I have what, 63 more health than them. So, and now they're going to be killing other people too. So it's not like... And actually, I think I just messed with my formation too much. Also, that last, let's... Werewolf will be my assassin catcher. Um, but that's that. I don't think I want any of that. I'm thinking maybe the Desperate Doctor, but honestly, I'm going to Econ and level. And so I can be the... I, I want to rush to get the epics. Like my Pirate Captain, my Doom, because that's really what's going to help. And also my Siren is very important uh, for my three three marksmen i don't like six marksmen by the way so people wondering why i was passing like the um wind ranger and stuff like that like i'm just not a fan of going six marksmen because marksmen are already contested in a lot of comps and then if you try to go six it's just i feel like it ends up underwhelming too often Ooh, we could do a second pivot okay let's spend that there um hmm. i'm tempted Let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll hold them for now and see where it goes. And let's see what other people are doing. So warriors, 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 warriors. Um, one berserker, warriors, and then our divinity mage. So we're going to have a lot of warlock warriors and warrior beasts uh, to be expected. And yeah, so there's going to be competition over those top warriors. And okay, so wow. I just fought him, what, two rounds ago? Oh man, RNG. He's like probably one of the only people who beats me and I'm playing him so many times. And yeah, you can see we're like crushing everybody else, but hey, you know, that that's sometimes just how it goes. But on that note, remember I was saying is the reason I wanted to speed up the tempo of the game is because the divinity will get to a crazy point. Um, I would say he got pretty lucky with his bank and he actually hit everything to two stars and got a lot of the pieces he wants. Um, but you know, that's just how it goes. So anyways, every the other people I am beating, so I don't think I need to slow down my strategy of leveling. I am tempted to get rid of the Agaris buff now and just put in my other warriors, though, to be honest. Because, um, like, getting in the Pirate Captain will give me, will give me the um, human. So I think I am going to go with that. And then, actually, I should switch the Abyssal and my human. And nice, my werewolf there will... Oh my god, what? Okay, well, hey, whatever. <laughs> I literally put Werewolf back there to catch uh, assassins, and then he just straight up abandoned my my poor marksman. Oh well. Formation fail. Lesson learned. But anyways, so the other people are not really losing too that badly. Like, we're probably going to lose here, but it's not going to be a horrible lot. Well, I, actually, alt, axe chief alt. Yes. When, when axe chief ults, it also has the thing that the abyssal can't alt. Um, and his armor goes super high, so he can probably beat the Abyssal, because one more alt, yep, his armor notice spikes to 41, and then, yep, there we go, nice. Okay, so then minion round, are other people going to 8? You can see Peanut went to 8. Wow, Peanut has a really nice economy for level, so that's good. Um, and yeah, they're competing with me for some of these other knights, but that, I would say, is to be reasonably expected. Let's... And I can level. Yeah, I'm going to level. And then what do I want to throw in here? Um, I guess let's throw in the Siren. I th this is a minion round, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to sell my E-Ranger. And... We are good. Marine. And that Marine buff is going to help us deal with um, the Bam Banks. Bam Banks, nice. Mana regen is what I would like on my Siren. I want to get her to 250, but it looks like I'm not going to hit that type of mana regen this game. So, you know, that's just the way it goes. Um, I am going to reroll here because I do want to hit my Werewolf would be nice. And no. Uh, Storm Shaman. Storm Shaman I could make space for, to be honest. 
probably better than Berserker. But Berserker is nice in these type of comps. And actually, sorry, let me adjust my thing here. Um, so if I... I'm trying to think. Right now I have extra warriors, so I can replace out a hunter, and I can replace out a warrior. Storm Shaman is going to help me against the mage. But I don't have mana regen, so Storm Shaman doesn't really help me against the mage. I have to silence the mages before they can get their ultimates off. But since I only have one mana regen and it's only 50, and it's going to be on my Siren already, it's kind of eh. So that's nice. Um, let's roll. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And let's since we already went down, let's see if we can hit a druid. Nope, no druid for us. Okay, so put her in the front. Um, I am going to actually, how do I want to do this? You were not being too helpful. Yeah, we'll go for something like this. And then, man, I really want to hit my, hitting the druid would be nice because then I can get the beast buff in. And I think I'm going to switch it out with my uh, skull hunter. Skull hunter was just a filler marksman until I got my siren. And then, yeah, after that, I think switching him out for a uh, the lone druid is going to help me. And by the way, so back to branching. This is the branching. Like, you're seeing the branching now. I Like, Berserker is opening up going towards Six Warrior if I wanted to. Um, it's also contesting what other people are going for. It's contesting builds that make my life hard. So, six, so like, this person in second to last peanut, right? I don't want them to get a Berserker. They're Six uh, Warrior, so they do counter me. Um, so that's something to consider when you're holding something you're actually blocking people so I'm gonna grab that just for now please hit a druid oh my gosh and am I gonna use that I might take that for now honestly to switch it out here we could do something like that because I'm not making use of my human right now and then that will just introduce some extra damage I'll put it on there for now because berserkers probably getting sold uh, those are one away from level ups, level ups, here we go. So I have so much stuff to level. Um, and also I want to think about going to nine in three rounds because I feel like hunters are just better when you go to nine. So, okay, that's good. That's good. Ring of life. People are dying off. Um, and so I need to settle on a final comp. Okay. So we have three beasts. That first place, I should be able to beat with my three hunters. Uh, the divinity is going to be an issue. The assassins, I should be able to beat. The warriors will be an issue. So that's kind of what's popping off in my head. Um, I want these for the beast buff. Doom would replace my red axe chief. So yeah, we're just at that point where I could upgrade. Um, can my health wait? Because what I want to do is I want to wait save a bank, get to level 9, and then re-roll from there because the stuff I want is all epics. So, like, Desperate Doctor can also get switched out without any really big problem. Um, that I need, that I need. Yeah, I think for now I'm going to sit with this. And there's a good amount of stuff that I am going to end up selling off. So here's that six, uh, six warrior, and we crush his lone druid, which is nice. Siren should get her alt off, hopefully, before my entire team is dead. Pirate captain's alt into siren alt, beautiful. Um, luckily for them, the berserker wasn't facing my siren, so it didn't get turned into stone, but I think we still pull this off, so that's good. So we beat that. We beat the six assassin, like you would expect. Um, yeah, so we are good. So it's mainly the mange. The mage player, which we knew would probably come into this, the divinity mage. Um, okay, so this is a minion round, and then after this round, I will level. And at level nine, I will hopefully, I would, I mean, I would still like to hit a druid so I can get a two star, and then hopefully I can hit my werewolf. Um, I think my comp's gonna be a lot based off of just what I'm able to hit. Sellable units are these two. So Red Axe Chief can go, and um, Desperate Doctor can definitely go. Without, with very minimal impact on what's happening for me, so. 
and so after this i need 20 what is it 24 so 30 gold so i'll be down to 30 gold but i'll be level nine and i'm guessing if we look there's probably going to be two two other players who go to nine would be my guess maybe one for sure one will go um i but probably more than that okay nice so so that makes a decision right and remember not only can I use Berserker, so there's a branch in Berserker, but it also helps me block, which is good. Let's go something like this. And I'm actually going to roll, yep, and that's why. And, ooh, because of the fact that I don't have... Oh, that's a, that's a choice right there. So because of the fact that I don't have mana regen... I'm almost tempted to switch in a Tsunami Stalker over Siren, but no, the Siren just has more HP. She's more tanky right now, and the chance of me getting Tsunami Stalker to two star is pretty minimal, so I I'm, I'm gonna stick with this. And actually, this is the first, the Divinity Mage, so we are doing better, and I think once I can get my um, Human Synergy, so I can get my Werewolf in there, we will be better off definitely and especially if i could get a doom also because he will ultimate and get the silence off so and our health is still pretty decent um 888 eight, eight. and yeah see one person went to nine i'm surprised the other okay and there's the other nine so there you go they're the two teams i expected to go to nine. Oh my gosh give me druids okay perf that's beautiful let's switch that in um ch -ch -ch -ch. let's just say goodbye to you um there we go let's do something like this let me set up get my armor onto my pirate captain and onto my berserker and i could level razor claw there but i'm going to be greedy because my health pool allows it um and the greed is i'm waiting for a druid because remember if i wait for a druid i only need four um I only need four razor claws to get a three star so i'm already at that and see nice those that upgrade helped me beat the mage oh my god who is this oh wow first place crushed me what is that beast oh my gosh okay um anyways we're gonna roll down to 20. seriously one druid game one druid give me oh this is always tempting Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we're rolling down further than I... There we go. Thank you. Um, okay. So... The last thing that can come out would be this. And I could put in Dark Spirit for the Warlock. But who do I want to switch out would become the issue. And there's nothing I really want to switch out unless I go to 10. So I think I'm just going to hold Druids for Lone Druid. I'm going to try to save Bank. Um, we're going to see how this goes, and then I am going to try to hit 10 and put in a Dark Spirit. That will give me Warlock buff with a Dark Spirit. Um, that should be very nice for us. And so we're beating... I think we're beating three people. I think we're only losing to first place. So, um, yeah. And, le and how much gold? So I need 40 gold to level. Okay. So that means for me about two more rounds. I can sell Doom, give up on him. Are people going for Doom that I don't want to have him? No, he already has a two-star. They they both already have two-star Doom, so yeah, I can I can sell that. And I need my stuff that is in, so we'll do that. And yeah, so we're just gonna wait then. And our Dark Spirit will go in at level 10. And this is human round, player, then a minion round, and then I can get to level 10. Or I should be able to get to level 10. Or very, very, very close. Um, depends on wins or losses, but um, yeah. So this is first place again. Yeah, first place is beating us, unfortunately. So one more loss, and we're out. Okay, nice. The Divinity Mage goes, and I should be beating Peanut. Oh, Peanut's beating me now. Okay. Uh, Peanut ended up going to 9, but Blue, Peanut's entire bank is gone. And they're going to have the same issue I had against first place so they should be dead next round but the problem is they are beating me but i ooh, it's gonna be close so but but i should be able to level eight so i'll have to sell my um trent protector but that's not a big deal and then i put in my divinity and then let's think about my formation so they he set up in the middle he set up in the middle and their stuff is basically the same okay so if they're set up like that, I do want to attack from a side so that all my hunters focus on the very side units. And then that way that should help me kind of crush into their 
comps. And okay, so anyways, level, 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 and sell and level and sell and level. Okay, so there's that. Like I said, they're coming in from the sides. Oh wow, what what is happening? Okay. And actually I want him to take damage. Let's drop them back. Keep them there. We can do something like this. Okay. Oh, the, he did get the Pirate Captain on the edge, unfortunately. Um, but my Dark Spirit should take just the damage I want and get the ult off. Does get the ult off. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, I should have spaced I, my Hunters out a little bit more. So it looks like we're not. But do we beat Peanut before we lose? No, we're going to get third place. So we're beating Peanut, but we're dying too fast. Yeah, unfortunate. Because we kill Peanut here. So, yeah, it was pretty good. Um... So anyways, with the branching, hopefully you saw it in that game. Um, I know I discussed it a lot more in the beginning of the game than I did at the end of the game, but I was... Let, to summarize what I was talking about with the branching is we knew the Divinity Mage was our scary person, and I started to decide, okay, I need to go towards Marine buff to deal with that. And then at the end of the game, we saw there's assassins, we saw there's like other a bunch of warrior teams. So we're just always kind of adjusting our comp. And then you could see how the shop gave me things and I adjusted my comp based on that. Like I ended up putting in a Berserker. Berserker, why did we put in Berserker? Well, we put in Berserker, one, because it's a strong unit, a damage carry. It gives me a third like really heavy damage with my E-Ranger and with my Dwarf Sniper. And then the other reason is because it was blocking all those people who were going from warriors from taking it, right? And then the warriors were my other concern. So it, it served two categories, and that's kind of a part of branching too. You can branch to counter, you can branch to prevent people from getting certain units. Um, that's what I mean whenever I say branching. And in the next few videos, I think I'm going to focus on branching as a topic, just, for, just like for the last videos, we've been discussing tempo quite a bit. But anyways, that is the end. If we look at our economy, we did good 242. So we're the highest gold in the game. So that means I manage my win streaks, lose streaks really well. Um, and yeah, that's to be expected. But I would say that we... So as I was explaining, I wasn't really looking at other people's builds as much until the end of the game. So we we, we kind of ended up being countered out. And as you saw, it was just kind of RNG. I ended up facing the top person who was the only person who beat, it, beat me. I, I faced him quite a few times and I actually beat Peanut who came in second. So I would say we, we should have come in second in that game. But um, yeah, that's just the way it goes sometimes. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you learned something and take care and I will talk to you tomorrow.